Lick a hair up, baby. This is a big one right here. This, this one right here costs 5000 just for one ruby. And this right here, this is my trust to you. This is a new beginning. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. It's done, man. I don't want, I don't want to talk about her no more, OK? Mm hmm And I love you for holding me down and sticking with me. Oh, my God. Look how that thing sitting up on that thing. Oh, my God. Rubies. Rubies. I love you. What's up, my How you doing? Shout out to my soldier boy in the building right now. We turned up Sup Club Tuesday. Supreme team shit, you already know. Your soldier, talk to him. Y'all make some noise in this bitch. My name is Soulja Boy. I'm a rapper, I'm a producer, and I'm an actor. Most people know me from my big hit, Crank That Soulja Boy. I dropped three studio albums since I've been in the industry. I'm 23 now, and it's time to step it up and show people a different side of myself. I got an announcement. Baby, come here. Happy birthday, baby. I just want to say happy birthday to my baby, my heart, my everything. We doing it for real. This is your night, you know what I'm saying? I love you so much. I'm Nia Riley, and I date Soulja Boy. I grew up in the music industry. My dad is Teddy Riley. He's known for Blackstreet, Guy, Rump Shaker. So this whole industry thing is nothing new to me. Let's turn up. It's your birthday. Turn up, turn up, turn up. I love you. I love you, too. Tonight about to be turned up, man. I'm with my girl. It's her birthday. We getting money. Pop bottles. What are we doing? We're partying at your birthday party. Besides partying, us together, what are we doing? You tell me. I met Soldier or Dre eight years ago. Our relationship has definitely been a roller coaster ride. Throughout the years, we've been on and off. No one really knows about our relationship, but we're trying to make it work this time. And I'm serious, and so far, he's doing good. I'm not gonna mess up this time, you dig what I'm saying? I, I really hope so, not. But you guys just meet me halfway on things. 50, I always meet you halfway. You have to give me the benefit hey, of the doubt. I always before do. Cutting We're my still, neck, before look, 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 going look, look, off look, look, look. You know what I'm talking about. The hoes, the groupies, all that. That gotta go. That can't exist. OK, I'll let you have that. Can you do that? I feel like Nia, like me and her fit perfect together, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy how it is, but I think it's like a magnet. We just stick together like that. Opposites attract. You trust me? I'm working on that again. I really want this to work this time. So. I just want to make sure we're on the same page, and then we are good. We 1,000. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. You hungry? Yeah, I can eat. Some real food for you. You cook this for me? Yes! Oh, OK. Here. Yeah. You real serious about this? About what? Moving in. When I first moved back to LA, I decided to move in with my mom. And then it got to a point where I felt like I needed to find my own place. Of course, I brought it up to Dre, and that's when the subject of us moving in together came about. It's going to be a process. It's not just peaches and cream. A process? Wait, what's the process? I mean, once we're there, we're there. We, yeah, you're going to be there, but we just got to, I, I don't want us to really be arguing and fighting over We don't argue. Stuff. I know we don't. I don't want us to start. OK. Because you know, once you, you can love someone a lot, but once you be around a person so much, mm -hmm. you know, stuff happens. 
I'm turned up, I'm getting money, I'm young, I'm a Leo, I'm rambunctious, I like to party. And she, she's like a regular girl. She's Nia, you know what I'm saying? That's what I like about her. And I really, really, really want me and Nia to work. You gonna be bringing a lot of stuff? Shoes. You have more stuff than I have. Excuse me, someone's hungry. Yes, I have a one-year-old baby girl. Her name is Cameron, and Dre is not the father. Dre and I were teenagers when we first met, and when he hit it really big, he started living that life. There was girls and plenty of groupies. He definitely really hurt me. After our last breakup, I ended up in another relationship, and I had a baby. And I feel like this time around, if Dre wants to be with me and be serious, he also has to accept the fact that it's me and her. You ready to have her in the house all the time? Yeah. You sure? We got to childproof everything. What? You got to get buy some gates. You have to do that before we move in. She ain't going to be crying in the middle of the night, huh? No. She's not a crying. You got to make me a promise right now. You move in the house, no crying in the middle of the night. Dre has no idea what it's going to be like living with a toddler. She's one, so she's getting into everything. You always know how I felt about me and you. And I always thought that if you had a kid, it was going to be by me. But it didn't work out like that. Mm -hmm. We were together. And this is what happened? That, yeah. I hate that it happened, but things happen. If I were to have a kid and she would have came back to me, I wouldn't want her to be like, oh, Dre, I'm not with you because you got a kid. I would want her to love me and love the kid if we're really going to be in this relationship. So you got to treat others how you want to be treated. You know how to change your diaper? No. You ready? No. To learn? No. Yes. No. Right now? No. Let's go. Come on. All right, let's do it. Let's teach you how to change your diaper. All right. You change your diaper? It's been a few days since Dre and I had our fight about the Instagram picture. And at this point, I don't know if we can move in together. If he's still on both, what's the point? Neil. What? What you doing? Why you not in the bed? I wasn't sleeping. You okay? You've been saying like somewhere in your mind the last couple of days. I'm still a little bothered about the other night and you walking off while I was trying to have a conversation with you. You're right. I was wrong for walking off, but I don't want to focus on the past. It's not the past because stuff like don't, this don't keeps need, happening. You don't need to blow that one scenario up, though. Some of the things I do, I know I'm not perfect. Ain't nobody perfect, but. I just try not to just focus on negativity and dwelling on the that she like to dwell on. We need to move past that, let that go. So what are you going to do so we can move past it? Because I don't want us to keep having these issues. We're supposed to be a family, and you can't communicate with me. We are a family, and we are going to be living together. I spent eight years trying to figure out whether or not I can trust Dre, and right now, I don't know if I can do that anymore. I have a daughter now, so I really need to know whether or not he's ready to man up. No more cheating, he needs to communicate better, and he needs to grow up and just be a man. How do you want to fix this? What do you want me to do about it? I shouldn't have to tell you what to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut it, cut everybody off. I ain't going to talk to nobody. I'm going to change okay. my number. You should. Cut them off. Why didn't you do that before? I made a mistake, and now we're having this conversation, and now we're coming up with the solution. We're going to start with a new slate. Now, we had this conversation again. That's another thing. We'll have this conversation again if you up again. I don't want to play house anymore. I want to be a real family. I have to see if Dre is really ready to make some changes. You got any more problems? I just want to make sure you're ready to actually be a man and have a family. I'm ready. You sure? You don't think you're my soulmate? For the most part, okay. I do. Hey, what are we talking about? What are you doing? You see? <laughs> this is what you do. You're not we... tired? No, I'm not tired anymore. Let's, let's go. Let's get some sleep. No, I don't want to go to sleep anymore. Okay. Happy birthday. Today is Dre's birthday, so I plan on making him a special dinner. I even brought my sister so she could watch the baby and we can have some alone time. I put my to the middle of the road in the door, and Dre's having a full-on day party in the house. He's dancing on the couch. It's bitches in the house. It's the middle of the day. Music blasting, dudes everywhere. I can smell the smoke. Hey, turn the music out, man. All I can think about is getting my daughter out of the house as quick as possible. Dre's obviously lost his damn mind. I'm going to take her back to the car. Please. It's crazy to me how all we've been talking about is growing up, being responsible. Can you come here? And this is the that I walk into. With my baby, this is just not a good look right now. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday? It's the middle of the day. 
Halloween. And it's the middle of my birthday. Okay, let's turn it up, y'all. Now is not the time for Dre to act like a big old 24 year old kid. Hey, it's a good day. When I can't bring my baby into the house with the party going on, smoke in the air, loud music, all this ruckus in the middle of the day, this is a big problem. Can we talk about what's going on in the house? You're gonna do this on my birthday. I'm not trying to ruin your birthday. I can't help it, everybody love me. I just came home and it was a party. It was oh, so a surprise. they threw a party in your house and you didn't know it anything was, about no, it? No, it was a surprise for me. I came over here to cook you dinner, thought we were gonna do the family thing, and Kim can't even stay here because you got in the house smoking weed and having a party. You got bitches downstairs. I, I, I. I brought Deja with me. She's walking into the house. She ain't never seen this before. If you wanna snap on me on my birthday, that's you. I'm not snapping on you. This is my day. I'm Leo King so Nobody's trying to ruin your I day. I love you. Like when we're talking guess, in the bed, mm -hmm. I want to communicate and build with you more. But if you ain't going to cut me no slack, You didn't communicate. That's, that's the problem we're having right now. I can't. If you I, had you a party going on. You saying the same thing over and over. Because How could I tell listening. you about a surprise party that I didn't know about? On my birthday, you suck. Negative energy, Nia. Get you away. Done? Go Are you away. Done? That's like the worst girlfriend ever. I had ever a plan. Type. No, I had a plan for us. You ruined that plan. That you... plan? Yes. The plan then. Bye. Bye. Nia straight up believed that I'm not ready for her and Cam to move in. The pictures of my ex, the birthday party at my house, none of that worked in my favor. So I'm trying to show her that I can be responsible. I ain't got no homeboys at the house. You dig what I'm saying? I'm very proof and everything. Boss Ooh, what are you doing? I've been working, I've been doing, I've been doing, setting these things up all day. Say, get out my playpen. I told you if I was gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I know, I, 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 I believe you 50%. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to take him serious when he's sitting in the playpen. I definitely appreciate the effort. Hey, what happened to the gate? Where's the gate? That's the biggest thing. It's in there. It's in there. You couldn't, you couldn't do it, could you? I got to go get another one because it was like two inches too short, so it wouldn't fit. OK. But you see, it ain't nobody here. I told you I got the I, house under control. I'm so happy nobody's here. I really am. One thing I think we definitely need to be clear on is there can be people in and out of the house all times of the day. Dre either wants me in camp or he wants his entourage. He definitely can't have it both ways. I just want to make sure everything right, you know what I'm saying, before I leave on the road. What do you yeah. normally do when you're on tour? Get money. And what else? What you want me to say? I'm Are you? Yeah, that would be nice. Like, be I honest. just call you every single day when I was going to Texas. FaceTime you every day, talk to you every day, all day while I was going. Don't, she even know. Don't tell her. Don't start, Cam. I've been on tour with my dad. I know what he does, and he's not a rapper. And I'm for sure rappers are worse. When my dad and my mom were together, and he was on the road with Guy in Black Street, I'm pretty sure he wasn't a one woman man. My dad has nine kids with six different women, and I'm not trying to live that life. You making it sound like I'm a cheat on you, or like I'm gonna be smashing hella groupies, or you comparing me to what your father did. I'm not, I'm not, say I'm not saying Can that. Can I finish? Okay. I'm not your father, but in the end of the day, I get why you may feel that way, because he did what he did or whatever. But this is different, though. I'm Soldier Boy, and your pops is your pops. I believe you, everything you say. For now, I believe you, T. up. <laughs> if that happens. In the past, Dre messed around while he was on the road, and I'm afraid those things will happen again. I see that he is trying, so I'm gonna do my best to trust him for now. I gotta go. Where are you going? I'm going to go find another gate. The other one ain't fit. It was two inches too short. You don't want the gates no more? Yes, we want the gate. Say, we want the gate. Seven, eight, and five. Hit. Things are going really good between Dre and I right now. We're about to move in together. I think before that, I need to handle some family business. Push. Hi, Boo Boo. Hello. Hey. My sisters are background dancers for people like Trey Songz, Chris Brown, so they're always out of town. You miss me? Not really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My sister Deja is the only one that's ever been around Dre. They all know about him, they all know we've dated, but this time I think it's about time I formally introduce him to everybody so they know we're serious. How's my little yeah. baby? That's my life. Little princess. Just Cam. <laughs> well, what's the tea? Because I know you didn't come here to tell us about <laughs> Cam and her bottles and her poop. Yeah. And... I wanted to ask you guys what you thought about, you know, my relationship. Yeah. You know, I'm with Dre. We're thinking about moving in together. Wait, what I are you moving in, though? It's going to be soon. What's, What's the, the rush? rush? No, what am I waiting rush? for? 
I just need to know why, like, it's taken eight years and I still haven't met him. Well, you know how I am when it comes to my relationships. I don't bring everyone around. I never introduced Dre to my family just because I didn't want to waste time and he wasn't going to stick around. This time, I do feel like we're more serious. He's involved in my daughter's life and he's more involved in my life this time. Have you guys talked about commitment level? Are you his girlfriend? You what kind of relationship girl. is this? I mean, yes, I'm his girlfriend. Oh, How old is he? He's 24. Oh, younger than you. Yes. Did you ask him if he's ready for fatherhood? You know, you want to make sure that the person you're bringing into her life is stable. He's a soldier boy, not a soldier oh, man. God. There's two different types. He's the, working on the man part. Man. I understand my sisters are trying to protect me, but I need them to understand that I got this. Have you told dad? I'm not ready to tell him because I'm not ready to hear everything that I don't want to hear. You have to tell dad. Man, yeah, you can't you just gotta... not tell dad. Like, people are going to see y'all together <laughs> and they're going to be like, out. that's Teddy Riley's daughter. I'm scared. She's coming back to OK, you but don't be scared because he's going to be more mad if he doesn't hear it from your mouth. Yeah. Hell no, I was not about to tell my dad about me and Dre. First of all, we were really young when we started dating. And I already know. Teddy Riley, the dad, and Teddy Riley, the artist, two totally different people. The artist, he knows all about the groupies. The dad, he would have kept me locked in a room and far, far away from Dre. I think that you should tell dad. He has no choice but to be supportive. We're grown now. And regardless, it's going to get out. If it's not out already, it's going to get it's out. Gonna... I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for Sunil. I'm going to pray for you. Pray for me. Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. I'm nervous. It's been eight years since I've been dating this man's daughter. Today, I'm about to finally get to meet him. What should I call him? Mr. Riley. He's a badass producer. He worked with everyone in the industry. He's won every award. And he's still managed to hold down his player card. You dig what I'm saying? Be a gentleman. All right, I got you. I'm definitely a daddy's girl, so this meeting is beyond nerve-wracking. I kept my dad and Dre apart because I didn't want him making judgments on our relationship. This time, I think Dre and I are really going to make it work, so it's time to face the music. My dad's coming. What's up? <laughs> How you doing? Mr. Pleasure. Riley, nice to meet you. Pleasure. You know the feeling that you get when you see the cops in your rearview mirror? That's the feeling that I'm feeling right now, you dig? I mean, this isn't just a dad. This is Teddy No Diggity Riley. Let the grilling begin. Today, it's just the evaluation day. OK. One thing I didn't know was y'all were seeing each other. <laughs> she didn't tell you? Well, tell me, tell me about this, you know? It's been like seven years we've been knowing each other. It's on and off it's that entire off. time. On and off. Why did y'all keep waking up? I mean, he cheated before, but you know my patience for certain situations, and I would be over it. My thing is, I don't want to see this being an off and on situation. More recently, we've been wanting to take this serious. And you know, she's thinking about moving in, her and Cam moving in. You know, I really care about her. I really do love her. It's very serious what me and her have. I think that you and I should talk. You want to excuse us? Excuse you two? Yeah. Oh, God. OK. You we okay? can have a man to man you talk. You OK? I'm good. OK. I'm really good. I'll be. Damn. It's like that. Nia got to leave the table. It's about to get real. I hope this man still has some dignity left after this conversation, you feel me? So there's some things I want to know. Where'd you meet at? Well, I met her through my old DJ. And, you know, she came over to the crib one night. You know, I fell in love with her since then. Can I have relations on the first day? Uh... Is that a trick question? He asked me if I had sex with his daughter on the first night. So I just told him what I supposed to tell him. Uh... I want to say no. I've been in the business almost 27, 28 years. I lived that life. I've been to it, you know, I've done it. You know, I lived it. So living it, I can tell her every move that a man would make, you know what I'm saying, because I did it. When it comes to that, you know, I got some sort of concern, you know. I've seen on YouTube stuff with females videotaping you and to 
when you're under the influence of drugs, alcohol, whatever it is, anything can happen. I made mistakes, you know, when I was younger. But yeah, now I'm in a, I believe I'm in a different position. Those type of things shouldn't be a problem now. You're still on tour. You're still out there. And what's going to be a confirmation for me to know that they're going to be all right. With me being on the road, my whole focus is just on this album, on making this money, and coming back to her, you know. I want to make sure she's happy, you know. I want to make her happy. I want to be there for Cam. Being around Cam, I want her to see that father figure from you, even though you haven't had the experience. Out of all this time, she see that, you know, I'm really trying. Or I wouldn't be here right now. For me to be here, it's, it's got to be something. My concern is, is she safe with you? We got a lot of proofing to do. Look, what about these? No. You don't think I look good like a nerd? Nerd swag or, or gangster rapper swag? What are you? Both. That is true. Dre has some shows in Brazil coming up, and I can't go because I have Cam. So that means I can't keep an eye on him, and I won't know if he's mingling with the Brazilian bitches. But to keep my mind off of it, I'm going to try and settle in at the house while he's gone. What your daddy say about me? Was he feeling me? Was he not feeling me? He didn't say if he was or not. So, I think he wants to see it. He doesn't want to keep talking well, about it. And I think he'll realize that once we live together and he knows how you are with Cam and he gets to see that, he'll understand. About us living together, man. We should push that back a little bit. Why? Because I'm leaving for Brazil, like, tomorrow. I got, like, 11 shows. I'm going to be gone for, like, two weeks. It's not a gated community. Anybody could just pull up. Fans know where I live at. They be riding by the house taking pictures. And your pops just told me, make sure that you're safe. Mr. Teddy Riley got your boy kind of nervous right now. I'm pretty sure I could take care of his princess, live up to their expectations, make sure she's safe. But right now is not the time for that. I got to focus on my career, my music, my tour. I got to focus on this Brazil turn up. You dig what I'm saying? I'm going to need Nia to just chill out at her mom's house and relax till I get back. I'm thinking about the bigger picture. I'm thinking about Cam. I'm thinking about your safety. Nobody's going to be there. None of my security is going to be there. Why None can't of my you leave somebody there? there Nobody, because everybody's going on tour with me. I should have known Dre was going to find an excuse for us to postpone us moving in together. I'm starting to think if it's ever going to happen. I've been through this before. We're good, he goes on tour, and something always happens to drive us apart. We were just getting to a really good place, and now he's leaving again. And I don't even know if I want to do the move in at the house. We, maybe we, should, we could use the house, but maybe we should look for a new spot. You know what I'm saying? Safety, gated community, and Cam have her own space. And I can have my man cave. For what? To do what? To smoke. Now, a man need to be able to hold on to something. I'm willing to sacrifice a lot for this relationship, but I am who I am. I still need to be able to turn up inside and outside the crib. Nia know all this about me, and it ain't gonna change. All right. I don't like it, but I'll wait till you get back. And after that, no more bull It's not bull It's called safety. Safety first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been avoiding Nia like crazy. Not to be a or anything, but I was hurt and I lost the baby too. Then she gonna hit me with some text messages talking about I don't care. I just felt like I could get soaked into all this drama or I could drop it down and focus on the business. And that's what I did. I guess I ain't had to block on social media, but once I got to the house, I didn't know how to reach out to her. And I've been thinking all this time she's been talking about us communicating better. So I'm manning up. I'm inviting her down to the studio so we can communicate. I haven't talked to Dre in days. I don't know what's going on, but I do know he left me alone to deal with everything that I was going through. And now he wants to text me and talk. And I almost don't want to speak to him, but I'm trying to be an adult here. So I'm going to go talk to him and see what he has to say. I had a miscarriage, and you weren't responding to me. You took two seconds in whatever kind of Skype conversation that was. But you know, that wasn't my fault, though. I had three shows in one day. The last show, I was sick as I couldn't even perform. I had to go to the doctor. Just like you was going through something, I was going through something. You text my phone talking about, do I care? What kind of is that to text me, though? That's some disrespectful to say. Of course I care. 
I love you, but I can't hide how I feel. I was mad as <laughs> All I can do is block you on Instagram, because I'm halfway across the world in Brazil, and you texting me like that. What can I do? I can't do nothing. I'm not cold-hearted by nature, you dig? That's just not me. If I let my emotions take over, then I'm in big trouble. I'm thousands of miles away from home. When I hear some devastating news like that, I want to get on the first jet back home and see Nia. But guess what? I can't do that. I got obligations and commitments I got to handle. And Nia supposedly signed up for this. I'm a rapper. This is my lifestyle. I know I was in the wrong. I'm telling you, I'm sorry. But when I'm halfway across the country, busting my ass to get this money, and you texting me like that, of course I'm gonna be distant. Of course I'm not gonna communicate. It's like, you don't even care. I know Dre cares about me, but Soldier Boy, the artist, all he cares about is his career. And when he's in Soldier Boy mode, he becomes this irresponsible person that I don't know and I don't like. You not understanding the situation of me being an artist. And that's why this relationship, we are gonna have problems like this. I'd rather shut down on you than shut down on all the fans and shut down on my career and I'm looking up and I done missed 11 shows and I done got sued. You were having a baby. You could have stopped for a second for me. <laughs> it's hard for me too. Just as, just as painful as it is for you, just as hard as it is for you, it's hard for me too. I really don't want to talk about this. We both took a loss. Not just you, me too. been struggling. She don't like the way that I reacted to the miscarriage, and I don't like the way that she think that I don't care about the miscarriage. We had a big fight, and then in an instant, everything changed. Thank you. The other night, I got a call, and Nia was in a car accident. It was crazy. Her car flipped over two times, and her and Cam ended up in the hospital. I'm just thankful and blessed. You know, it's a miracle that both of them is OK and nothing happened to them. You okay? We're good. Thank God. We're fine. I got scratches and bruises. You should rest. But I got to check on Kim. But she's Every sleep. three hours. That's what you got me for. I know, but I keep thinking about the accident. Did you see the picture? Mm-mm. Oh, God. There's some of them. I don't know. What? I was leaving my best friend's house, and five minutes later, our car was flipped upside down. I don't know what happened. Then I remember hitting two parked cars, and the car just flipped over, and all I could think about was getting Cameron out the back seat. She was sleeping, so she didn't even know what was going on. But I was so scared. It happened so fast. Life is short. I may not be able to tell you this. That's why I'm telling you everything and how I'm feeling right now. When I tell you stuff and we argue and stuff like that, I'm saying it because I really love you and I really mean what I'm saying. I'm going to always be there for you, you know what I'm saying, no matter what it is. I do want to say thank you for looking after me and Cam, having us here. I'm a lot. She's a lot. That's what I'm here for, you know? I know, but I do want to talk about the situation the other night, too. We in love. Emotions running, stuff happen. I get it, you know what I'm saying? We could worry about all that later. Right now, it's just about this car accident, making sure Cam is straight, making sure you get some rest, and y'all just take it day by day, you know what I'm saying? Dre has been amazing since the accident. He's been caring, and he's been attentive to me and Cam. That's the man I love, and I might spend the rest of my life with. Whatever you need, let me know I'm here. Get well soon around this mother. Man, I love you. Don't hug me, good guy. I still haven't officially moved in with Dre, but I do spend a lot of time there, and we're in a good place right now. Having the miscarriage, it was definitely a big loss for Dre and I, but I think something good that came out of it is our communication is a little bit better. I know sometimes I'm a lot to deal with, but the car accident changed everything. I thought about what life would be like if Cam wasn't here or Neil wasn't here. And we still gonna have our struggles. And I'm still gonna be the crazy turned up artist that I am. But I know I can keep this away from the baby and make sure that Neil's happy. And I can even keep Mr. Teddy Riley happy. Dad, I got this. After I went to lunch with Titi and her acquaintance Nas, I was shocked to hear that she says she's with Soldier. So I decided to check in with Nia to make sure that she was clued in on this situation. These are cute. They look small, though. They are. They are small. 
I think this is a medium. These conversations are never easy, but I will always keep it real and let my friend know if another woman is speaking on her, especially if she's claiming to be messing around with her man. I'm happy we finally got out the house and went shopping. I know I always need to get out the house. And I got some tea to tell you, too. What's the tea? I went to go out with Terry the other day. We went to brunch or whatever. OK. We had like a meeting with this girl, and I'm sitting down, and she's like it's telling us, oh, you know, I mess around with Soldier. She's like, her and Soldier are in love with each other, and that's her man. That's her man. And you know, you're my friend. My loyalty's with you, so that's why I'm just letting you know. So I'm Who just. Who are you talking about? Do you know her name? Some girl, her name is not. Oh my God. This bitch. This raggedy and looking bitch. I thought I was done with her, but here she goes, popping up back in the scene again. And then this is where things get really bizarre with her, because she starts saying um, that y'all are friends, and y'all used to live together. And she's like, yeah, well, Nia my, was my friend. Yeah, we were friends. Right. I stopped being her friend. That was years ago. Yes, we were friends years ago back in Atlanta, and she met Dre through me when he was my And when Dre and I took a break, my friend slid her thought ass right on in there. Whatever that was, that was in, and this is now. And that thirsty thought is willing to do any and everything to be on top, be famous. That's what she does. She just wants attention, and she wants what we have going on right now, and that's all I can really say. Like, some women are, you know, okay with being exclusive, and some are okay with being in an open relationship. So, like, how are you guys exactly? Dealing with somebody like Dre, and you know, too, like, a lot comes with that too, but you know how many bitches I would have to say something to if somebody wants to come out of nowhere and be like, oh, I'm sleeping with your man. Anybody could say that. Of course. I have to wonder what's going on with Nia. She's a little bit too calm about this situation with Nas and Soldier. If that was my situation, I would be acting a damn fool. At the end of the day, I'm with him every day. I'm home with him. Like, I know my place. So. OK, so as I was leaving the conversation with her, she told me that she was going to have this little boot camp. Like she's teaching the boot camp? I guess, she says she's like a fitness instructor. She's a fit, when, when's that happen? Girl, I don't know, that's not my friend. I'm just telling you she invited me. So I don't know if you have anything to say to her. I want to see what she has to say right. to my face. And as you should, I would. Hilarious. So you're just gonna take your hands and come all the way down. I decided to go to Nas's boot camp with Tiara, and I took it upon myself to invite April and of course Nia so she could finally check this bitch. Hold this for the other five. One, two, three. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a little thrown off. OK, should we do that one again? Who the f invited Nia? Nia? Oh, f did you invite Nia, bitch? No, I invited April. This is going to be very f interesting. It may have been a little bit messy for me to tell Nia what Nas was saying, but this little lava head chick needs to be checked. So I really don't feel bad for inviting Nia to the boot camp, and I can't wait to see her set her straight. Hey, girl. Hi, baby. Give me a hug. Hi, hey, yeah. boo. Nice to meet you, April. You look cute. I'm really trying not to bust out laughing at this saggy-ass hoe. If she's talking about Dre and being in a relationship with him behind my back, I want to see what she says to my face. We need to talk. You need a time out. Excuse me? You heard me. We need to talk. About what? About everything. Like what, ma'am? What, what you mean about what? About our friendship, soldier, and all of that. I want to know, do you know her? I know her. OK. And that's Were you guys, like, BFFs? At one said? point in life, and you do you want a trophy? Like, what the I, I do. I want a cookie. I want all of it. We're not friends anymore, and that's just that. Why? Let's move on in life. But it's over because I of... don't want to see you out and have to punch you in your face. You're not going to do that. Say, calm stop, that stop the down. You're not going to punch me, me in my face. Stop Nia, cursing we've been at in me. numerous spaces stop together. At me. No, but stop saying you're going to punch me in my face. Stop saying that. Stop saying it, because that's not what you're going to do. If you want to talk to me like a grown-ass woman, then do so. But all that, you're going to punch me in my face, bitch, that's not going to happen. So continue our conversation. The reason why we're not friends anymore, I'm not trying to be your friend. It's cool. But I just think that it's really up at, like, the situation at hand and the fact that I'm still dealing with Dre. At the end of the day, hoes get every day. What she doesn't realize is if I leave Dre right this instant, it's never gonna be her. This hoe is delusional. She really thinks her and Dre are together. She needs to back up before she gets knocked down. How did you meet Dre? And that's all I want to say. How did you... No, no, you... I, hey, no, 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 you calm the down. I'm real calm. 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 We're fine. No, I met, you're right, I met Dre through so you. So that's it. No, 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 it's not. Conversation it's not, it's over. Because you f***ing 
Whatever. You clown. Everybody. Do I know you after me? No, 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 you up after me. You back up. No, you not. Then do it. Then touch me. Back up. Then do it. Back up. Do it. Go fix your teeth, ho. They rotten. About to fall out your rotten ass mouth. Bitch, you're still in my. You kissing him. He's still. Out of here. Whip on my wrist. Whip on my wrist. Whip on my wrist. Whip, whip on my wrist. Today I'm shooting a new music video for my song Whip on my wrist. We trying to build one platinum record at a time, man. King Soldier, building my empire, man. I'm stacking, I'm packing, packing. Too rich. After Nia popped up at my boot camp talking all type of shit, it really got me thinking that Dre is really not being honest with me about our relationship. How do you think the video is going so far? What's up? What's poppin'? Oh, you're not gonna hug me? What you doing here? So when Dre told me that he was doing a video shoot at his house, I decided to pop up on him so I could get some answers face to face. We need to talk. Talk about what? Us. This back and forth What you mean, back and forth what? Back and forth with us. I was just with you, and two weeks later, I see you and Nia. Man, you tweaking. Man, I'm tweaking. You already know what the relationship is with me and Nia, though. Oh, now you're in a relationship with her because two weeks ago when you was me, you weren't. I'm gonna do what I do. If you would've been acting right, this one, none of this would've been happening. What? You're not making here. no oh, sense. So, so you're not making no sense. You back and forth, Jerry. You back and forth. No, my shit, you with the I'm with the shit. You I'm gotta with... check yourself before you can check me. You no, can't check me. What are you talking about? Like, you sound. You not perfect. I never said I was perfect. I never said I was. Never said I was. So what you doing? You walking away from me? I feel like Nas is in violation. She knew me and Nia was in a relationship. She know me and Nia dating. She trying to make it like it's a big deal. Like, oh, you won a case because I had sex with you. Okay, so what? We had sex. What else? If you want to fix whatever, you would do that. That's all I got to say. I tried to fix it. How am I going to you hear that? How am I going to fix pressing? something with you when you're in a whole other relationship with another person? Please explain mm, to me. So I'm supposed day. to try to be like, I love you and be with you and build what we have, and all, all week you rotate us, and then next thing you know you're with her? Like, what sense does that make? It's either you want to fix me and you, and we, we could work at this and put all that shit behind us, or you can like... be with Nia, and then, like, it is what it is. Don't deal with me. That's all I'm saying. Dre is talking out of both sides of his mouth. One minute he's saying that he loves me and wants to be with me, and then the other, he's talking all this nonsense about Nia. Funny, when we're having sex, all he talks about is me. You done? Yes, I'm done. At the end of the day, if you feel like I did you dirty, you feel fed up on what I did, you know what I'm saying, with her and with you, my bad, I'm sorry. You dig what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, all this popping up at the video shoot, it ain't gonna happen no more. I did this out of respect for you, of what we had. But at the end of the day, stop tweeting. I'm not tweeting. I'm going. I'm back to work. You and Nia, y'all could be happy together. You! After talking to the girls the other day, I'm not OK with this little thought running around telling lies about me and Dre. I decided I'm not gonna wait to just run into this little bitch. I'm gonna invite her to come and talk to me so we can talk like two grown women. What's up? I don't know if you need closure or what the situation is. You didn't feel like it was a need to tell me about you and Dre. Like... Absolutely not, I didn't. Why, Nia? Yeah. Let me say this, because I think you forget a whole lot of I don't forget You're anything. I have a very okay. good memory. Like I said before, how did you meet Dre? What do you so mean? Me. Because, oh, wait, no, no, I know, no, 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 I'm not no, done. No, no. I'm I not done. But how did it even end up with me dealing with Dre? Because you two guys I was dating. I mean, you everybody. Oh, do I? And yeah. you, you my push yours. So what does that say about you, baby? Yes, I got with Dre after Nia and him broke up the first time. But what she won't mention that it was two years later after she destroyed our friendship by not one, but two guys I was dealing with behind my back. But even though Dre and I fight sometimes, he always comes back to me. I had a relationship with Dre. That's so you thought that he took you seriously, oh, that's what it was. Did I think or no, did I know? Because okay. I was living with him, sweetheart. Right now, we're together. So, Big B, let it go. Let, let go. Let, let it go. I let it go. He keeps coming back. He still wants to with me. Look, he still at the me. He still day, my He still does. I know he's so not doing that. I know okay. he's not doing that. Okay, because you know everything. Because you're Miss Cleo. You I'm not 
I'm Harley Cleo, Cleo, but I'm with him every me. single oh, day. Okay. All day. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Everything that she's been saying is a lie. She's just jealous, and she wants to be where I am, and she never will be. So I need her to just let it go at this point. At the end of the day, if I walk away from this table and me and Dre break up, it's never gonna be you. Don't put your hand in my face. And you're not no. doing nothing. Okay. You're not gonna do nothing. Right. You're nothing. not worth it. You're not worth it, bitch. Okay. You're a piece of I've had enough of this Satan thought. I'm not breathing any more life into this girl. Get out of my life and Dre's life. Bye, bitch. Bye. Nobody wants you, you dirty hoe. But I'm still it up. Go fix your teeth and that rotten. You wore my panties. Your panties. Are you? Get the out of here. Get the out of here, bitch. Oh, I can't talk to her no more. Stupid ass bitch. Out of here. Yeah, go home with your mom where you live at. Cause you damn sure don't live with Dre. Cause I was there. Out of here. Nia can think whatever she wants, but the real is that Dre is still with me. And even after we got into it the other day, he still hit me up for drinks. It's like, I don't know what to do. Do I continue to talk to him? Do I not? Because I do care about him. What's going on? You tell me. I should have known. Dre calls me to meet, and he comes in walking with knee on his arm. What he wants me to do, punch her in her face? I don't know what's going on, but I'm not down with this. I called you up here so we could just go ahead and clarify everything. You know what I'm saying? Oh, OK. So what's good? What's Gucci? I don't know. You tell me. Yesterday, we were good. This wasn't a situation, so. It's, it's always a uh, situation. Anyway. This is my girlfriend. At the now end now of the it's your girlfriend, because yesterday it wasn't your girlfriend, and you were just kissing me mm. and, and asking me to come f with you. I told you, if you want to be with Nia, then be with Nia. Y'all could be together. Like, it's all good. But you text me telling me that you wanted me back. You are exaggerating a lot of So you didn't do that? You didn't say that to me? Because I could bring out text messages, and we could put it all out on the table like since, you wanna, since you want to play. I want to see you. Here you go. Here you go. I came to fix Nas and put her in her place, you know what I'm saying? Now, what I didn't expect was the two of them comparing notes. I should have thought this through. I'm just telling you, like, if you're if you're saying that you're with her and, like, you're you're trying to deny the fact that you... I'm you not trying to deny nothing. So everything, not denying the everything is out in the open. Looking at Nas' phone gave me a whole lot of information that I wasn't expecting. I can see why she's confused, because Dre's leading her on when he's mad at me. And there's a lot that he's not being honest about. So Nia knows that you said that she wanted to be with me and our love is never going to end? Nia knows all of that? Yes. You are exaggerating a lot of Did you, say, did you okay. say you wanted me back? That. Yes, I said that. OK. Why are you sitting over here, then? You wrong. You know that, right? At the end of the day, if you want me to sit here and make a choice, if you want me to do that, we can do that. Or I don't have, I don't have to be with none one of y'all. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I got a million just on my. You have I can so many with, bitches, but you're still any... hitting my phone, and you know me and I... her don't get along. Did out. you? Was you not trying to get yes, me to I come back that. to your house? Yes, and then I, said I, that. and I was like, no. Yes, I said that. Again, you're welcome. Yes, I said that. Like you get yes, what I'm saying? Like, you're welcome. You should be thanking me. You're welcome. I will never thank a hoe for anything. A hoe, bitch. We were friends. You think I don't know where that? Dre's done a lot of in the past, but this is the first time I've been left speechless. I'm just sorry that you even had to get into the conversation like that. I wouldn't even invite her up there if I knew it was going to go down like that. And but it's over with, though. I have nothing left to say to this man that's disrespected me, embarrassed me, and taken me for granted. I keep seeing his mouth moving, but I'm not about to listen to he has to say at this point. I love you, man. We're going to end this off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Lick a hair up, baby. This is the big one right here. This, this one right here costs 5000 just for one ruby. And this right here, this is my trust to you. This is a new beginning. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. It's done, man. I don't want, I don't want to talk about her no more, OK? Mm-hmm. And I love you for holding me down and sticking with me. Oh, my God. Look how that thing sitting up on that thing. Oh, my God. Rubies. Rubies. I love you.
realized I have some serious thinking to do about my relationship with Dre. He thinks all of our problems can be smoothed over with a lame ass sorry and a fancy dinner, but that's not gonna fly anymore. He has to be held accountable for his behavior. This is our life together, and it's not a joke. I just been thinking about it. What we just went to, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, man, I just wanted to take you out, talk about everything. You know, I know you've been kind of disappointed. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the perfect word. I know you're not happy about the situation. I know that's why you've been having attitudes and all that, but like, you gotta get past that, you know what I'm saying? How are we gonna move past it if nothing changes? You can change whatever you wanna change, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I have to change very much. I think you do. I don't feel like you're as honest as you should be. And just like this situation that we walked into together, I feel like I should have been well aware of everything that was really going on, and I wasn't. Well, I understand what you're saying. What I did was wrong. The text message on her phone, I apologize. But anytime you ask me something about anything, I told you the truth about everything leading up until this point. Just because I didn't tell you something one time, all that just become bullshit. I always talk to you about stuff. Is that I keep believing you after every time, and you say it's not going to happen again, and it does. I apologize. What more did Nia want from me? I understand that she pissed about the whole Nas nah situation, but the real reason she was so mad is because they was friends. I get it. My bad. All I can do is say sorry, and we're going to have to move the f on. Note to self, no more friends. I apologize that you didn't know about the Nas nah situation when we, before we walked in there. My bad. What else you want me to say, bro? Ain't I don't nothing else say I can anything say. else. I want you to change. OK, then. What you, want me, what you want me to change right here this second sitting in front of my table? You're not going to change. Man, how the you going to tell me what I'm going to do? What type of attitude is that to have? If you're not trying to be positive about the situation, you tripping. Do you know how long we've been trying to fix this I'm not talking about 10 minutes ago. Whatever, bro. It's going on nine years. Are Man, you kidding stop, me? Stop, stop, stop it, bro. You had a mother baby, bro. So what? Get the out my together. face, bro. You not perfect, my you always in these motherfucking clubs. With your dot ass friends, your thirsty ass, whole ass friends, I know what your friends do. These is every house to house. So how am I supposed to feel about that, Nia? I don't know. Dre's sitting here trying to flip the script on me, and really, I want to punch him in his face. I'm the one that has an issue here, and I should be able to be angry and hurt without him wilding out. You got a up ass attitude. We ain't gonna never get nowhere with your attitude, bro. Because I'm sitting here. We're never and gonna I'm, get and anywhere and if you don't own well, up to Well, whatever. I just owned up to it. I said I'm sorry. What else the you want me to say? Sorry's not fixing anything ever. I can't do with a sorry. I can't do nothing with a sorry. What you mean you can't do nothing with a sorry? I said I'm sorry. I didn't even have to say that. I'm worth $25 million. I could have been like, you then. You yeah, I'm do. Yeah, I the you. I'm gonna go be with the but I didn't say that. I said I'm sorry about what I did. If you can't accept that, then get the out of my face. I will well, get out of your face. Well, all right, bye then. you then. When we sat down together, Dre said some pretty foul to me, and that's not cool. So I'm taking some time apart to do something that I wanted to do for a while. Today, I'm throwing my first Mommies and Mimosas event for moms like me to mingle a bit. Oh, <laughs> Just a little. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm really cut. What are you doing here? I definitely didn't invite my dad to the event, and I'm pretty sure he's not here for the mimosas. But I do know my sister has been telling him what's been going on between me and Dre, and he might not be his favorite person right now. I've been worried about you, so I had to come here and I had to come and see you. So what about your relationship with Soulja Boy? I hear so many things about this guy with other women. People say so. You know that more than anybody. This situation with this girl that he supposedly messed with, is it something that's true? What is it? I mean, parts of it could be true, but she's not a real issue for me. I just really feel like I you're know it. I know, and I understand that. You deserve that. better. Everyone says I deserve better, and I get that. I understand that. And we're, we're not perfect, but we're working on it. So it's like, what he does is bad, but I can deal with that. You don't have to. I don't have to, no. I don't have to, but it's I mean, just... I wasn't all that goody two-shoes with your mom. Oh, I know. I feel like in any situation, if the good outweighs the bad, I'll take that. And I know he accepts Cam, and he's great with Cam. He's better with Cam than I am sometimes because my patience is, like, gone. This is what you want? Mm-hmm. 
I appreciate that everybody, including my dad, wants to look out for me, but at the end of the day, it's my life. And I'm pretty sure my dad can relate to some of the shit Dre has put me through. So if I decide to accept Dre for who he is and spend my life with him, that's my choice, and people need to respect it. If you got it, and you say you got it... I do. I'm gonna leave this in your hands. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> After Dre and I had an argument the other day, we both cooled down and put a little distance between us. And after a few days, he decided he was ready to talk. Papa. I meant what I said to my dad. Me and Dre aren't perfect, but if he's not willing to do his part, I'll keep it moving. And I really think I'm okay with that. What's up with you, though, man? I met with my dad the other day. He came to my brunch. He ain't invited me to the brunch. He just popped up. I guess he just wanted to know really why why we're still together. But I don't want him thinking you're a bad person or I'm just here and I don't know when to walk away. I want us to get better. I told him that as well, and we're working on it. Mm, I agree. I just feel like we really need to talk and somehow get on the same page and do better. I'm always on the same page with you, you know that. Are we? Yeah. Now nah, it's man. You know what I'm saying? For all them hoes, man. All them you know what I'm saying? They want to be you, you know what I'm saying? So you knowing that, that means you need to not I know entertain. that now. Now that I know, it's a learning experience for me, too, as well. It's just growing and being a person. I know what and what not to do now, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not perfect. I made mistakes, but I learn from my mistakes. You see what I'm saying? I love Nia. I really do. But at the end of the day, though, I don't know, I am who I am, I'm not perfect, you know what I'm saying? So I can't just up and promise that I could be able to change and do all these things. And she turn around and be like, oh, you lied to me, you said you was gonna do that, but I'm gonna try my best to do everything I can to save this relationship. Where do you see us going in the future? Five years, five months? I don't like doing shit like that. I don't wanna jinx my shit, you know what I'm saying? I could be dead tomorrow. But right now, I see us being happy and being together and, and growing and progressing. You know what I'm saying? So we just gotta take it one day at a time and just support each other. How can I begin to predict a future with the most unpredictable man I have ever met? Life together isn't gonna be easy, but the important things in life never are. So call me crazy, but I'm gonna be with Dre until I decide that I have had enough. I'll take that for now. Hey, yo, it's Safari, listen. Thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe, click it, there's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer!